Hello and welcome on my YouTube channel Travel Tech. I'm really happy that you are watching my YouTube video. Thanks a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell so that you get a new notification each time when I upload a new video. Today we will be looking at the DJI Mini 3 Pro. This is the new mini drone from DJI. It has obstacle avoidance sensors, it has a 4K camera that can record videos up to 4K 60 frames per second and a lot of other smart intelligent features. In short, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is the best mini drone that we can buy at the moment on the market. The photo quality is good, the video quality is good, the flight time is amazing, all the smart intelligent flight modes they work really well and there's basically nothing we can complain about. The only thing is that the internal storage comes up just to 1.2 gigabyte. If you want to buy this drone you will find a link in the description below the video, there you will be forwarded to my partner shop and there you will get a really good price for this drone. If you want to know how you can win the drone and if you want to learn more about all the features the DJI Mini Pro has then you should watch the video till the end. Enjoy! The DJI Mini 3 Pro has obstacle avoidance sensors at the front, at the back and also at the bottom. All videos are stabilized with a 3-axis gimbal. The camera can record videos with a resolution up to 4K with 60 frames per second. The aperture is much bigger so that more light can be captured with the camera. That means that in low light conditions you can take better photos and videos. The drone has an internal storage of 1.2 GB. So if you are recording videos with a high resolution, this won't last too long. There are three different packages with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. The standard package includes the drone itself with one battery and the normal controller. And this costs around I think 900 bucks. Furthermore, you have the possibility to buy the drone itself with one battery and a smart controller. And if you really have the money, just buy it. There is nothing to worry about. It has only advantages and it's just amazing to fly the drone with this smart controller. You don't have to put in your phone all the time, you don't have to connect. This smart controller is really worth the money. And then we have the biggest package which is called Fly More Combo. There we got the drone, three batteries in total, so we have a total flight time of around 90 minutes. Then you can choose either you take the smart controller or the normal one. And you also get this travel bag and some additional accessoires. The camera of the drone has now a larger sensor and a larger aperture. It's now possible to record vertical photos and videos like shown in the footage here. To speak for me, I think 99% of the videos I record are in the horizontal format, but it can be useful for professional filmmakers. So now let's start the drone and look at the flight performance. I'm super excited! This is my first flight with the DJI Mini 3 Pro, but as you can see it hovers super stable in the air. The drone has GPS and GLONASS and can recognize the starting point to use the return to home function. And as always, I'm already used to other DJI drones, the flight performance is just super amazing and I think every beginner will be able to fly this drone without any flight experience. When I hover with the drone at one place and if I turn it around in cycles, it stays like a rock at its place. The drone has obstacle avoidance sensors and as we fly closer to the car, you can already hear that the drone has spotted the obstacle, in this case the car, and the drone stops to fly any further in order to prevent the drone from a crash. But right now let's do first a range test and see how far we can take the drone. The range is increasing. Another thing I want to show you is the digital zoom. If we record videos in 4K, we can use a twice digital zoom. In 2.7K, it's three times digital zoom, and in full HD, a four times digital zoom. So, if you want to use the zoom function, you have to think about which video resolution you choose. The drone now reached a distance of around 500 meters. I can still control the drone, the app is running smoothly, and the signal is super strong. According to DJI, it is possible to fly the drone up to a distance of 10 kilometers, which comes up to 6 miles. If you lose the signal to the drone, this is no problem, because the drone will automatically come back home. The drone comes with 5 different quick shots. Drony, Rocket, Circle, Helix and Asteroid. For the first one we will use Drony and the drone should rise till a height of 100 meters. Then I have to mark an object, in this case this is me, and then I will start the recording. 3, 2, 1, go! 
the drone will now fly away from me and climb in altitude. Like that you can produce an astonishing shot. The drone is flying on autopilot so we don't have to care about anything. Once the drone is done with the quick shot, the drone automatically comes back home. In rocket flight mode, the drone climbs vertically to a height that we have previously determined. For the whole quick shot, the drone is running on autopilot, so we don't have to care about anything. Once the quick shot is done, the drone comes back to the starting point. And this applies for every quick shot. One idea of using the rocket flight mode in a smart way is just to lay down on the floor and then the drone will rise upon us. For the quick shot circle, the drone flies a clearly drawn circle around us and we can set the distance to the object. We can also decide whether the drone flies to the left or to the right around us. This looks particularly spectacular when we are standing on a mountain or tower. As we have noticed, there are a lot of different possibilities on how you can use these quick shots to produce amazing video footage. For the quick shot helix, we can set the distance to the object and to which height the drone should climb. This is the difference between circle and helix. In circle, the drone is rising in height. Again, this looks astonishing if you are standing on a mountain or tower. If we use the quick shot asteroid, we can produce this exceptional footage. This footage makes every intro or outro look amazing. Another super amazing thing DJI has come up with are called master shots. For master shots we have to mark an object in the app, in this case this is me. And then the drone will perform different intelligent flight modes like circle, helix, zooming and so on. The total flight time is around 2 minutes and we have to be careful with the environment because the drone has no obstacle avoidance sensors on the side. As you can see right here there are a lot of trees around me. And if I'm not 100% careful, the drone will probably crash into a tree. In the DJI Fly app, we find a small library and we can choose different types. Original, epic, happy, calm, pop and so on. Now I will show you two different master shots. I really like the master shots and using the master shots also beginners can produce spectacular video footage. DJI promised to add more and more templates in the future for master shots. So I think this will gonna be amazing. Unfortunately and due to technical reasons I have to divide my review into two parts. Please watch also the second part because there you will get to know how you can win a drone and we will look at Active Track 4.0 and Point of Interest 3.0. So this is really exciting. If you liked the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and really really important, also hit the bell, so that you get a new notification each time when I upload a new video. Thanks a lot. Again, I want to remind you, if you want to know how you can win the DJI Mini 3 Pro, please watch the second part of my review. Thanks a lot. I hope I see you in the second part of the review. Bye.